Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today I'm going to do a little review on the Ghirardelli chocolate sauce. So let's get started. So I figured I'd pick it up and I'd let you know how it tastes. So what I'm going to do is I picked up a box of the Ghirardelli uh, brownie mix. So I'll make it according to the directions on the package. Once my brownies have cooled, then I'll pour this on top of the brownies and I'll let you know how it tastes. So I have my oven on 325 because that's what it says on the package. So I'll open up the package. I'll pour it in my bowl. And it says to add a fourth of a cup of water, a third of a cup of vegetable oil. I'll add that in. And one egg. So now I'll mix this all together until everything's well combined. I also have my baking pan and I sprayed it with cooking spray. That looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in about a cup of mini marshmallows. I'll kind of eyeball it. I'll, that looks like about a cup. So now I'll fold the marshmallows in. Oh yeah. And I'm using the spatula to scrape the sides and the bottom to make sure I mixed it good. So now I have my greased baking dish. I'll pour it in. making sure to get everything. I'll spread it evenly. And now I'll place this in my 325 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. You'll want to stick a toothpick in it and make sure it comes out nice and clean. So into the oven it goes. So when I was at the store, I happened to see this and it's like, I like Ghirardelli. And, um, you know, it shows that you can put it on top of ice cream. It looks like it's on whipped topping on maybe hot chocolate. So I figured, let me try it on top of brownies and see how this tastes. Because this chocolate is usually very good. And on the back of it, it says perfect for milkshakes, coffee drinks, dessert toppings, ice cream toppings. So I'll let you know how it tastes on the brownies. Right now I have my brownies in the oven. So the brownies were ready to come out of the oven. So I placed them on top of my stove. Look at how nice they came out with all those marshmallows in them. So I'll let it rest for a few minutes before I put the uh, sauce on top. This is optional. You don't have to put the marshmallows in, but I just wanted to try it with the marshmallows. Look at how good that looks with the uh, Ghirardelli chocolate on top. So I cut a little piece. Came out perfect. This is so nice and chocolatey. Really good. And the marshmallows make it nice and chewy. So this chocolate is really good. This chocolate was really good on top of them Ghirardelli brownies. So if you're looking for a good chocolate to go on top of ice cream or your hot chocolate or even a milkshake or on top of brownies, this chocolate is really good. So I highly recommend buying this chocolate. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. And this Ghirardelli chocolate is super yummy. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.